These days, all of us exist in two worlds, the real and the digital. And with online news articles, photos, and social media profiles, we all leave a searchable digital footprint. So should we have the right to ask for our digital selves to be forgotten? I think it's absolutely right that in terms of the right to be forgotten, we have as individuals an outlet to say, I don't think you should hold on to this information for longer than it's deemed necessary. And I should have that informed choice about what information I'm giving you in the knowledge of how long you're going to hold on to that. A right to be forgotten was first proposed by the European Court of Justice in 2012, and it would apply across all digital services. The law hasn't been passed, but Google is the first to feel its pressure. 16 years ago, a Spanish man went bankrupt and put his house up for auction. When he Googled his name, that's the information that came up first. He sued Google because he argued that information was no longer relevant but was damaging his reputation. And now, a European court has agreed and it's ordered Google to remove any of that information from its indexes. This ruling has huge implications for Google. Very often when you meet someone or you're going to meet someone or you hear about someone, uh, you'll undertake a Google search. It's a very standard part of our lives. Uh, this judgment puts into question whether you can do that because the information it elicits, which will be a wide variety of private information, it is now saying the role that Google has in collating and displaying that information when you put a search request in is potentially unlawful. And that could be a threat to freedom of speech. Jimmy Wales, the founder of Wikipedia, said on Twitter, when will a European court demand that Wikipedia censor an article with truthful information because an individual doesn't like it? Others will see it differently. This is a way of reclaiming at least part of their digital existence for themselves, wiping the slate clean. Tom Cheshire, Sky News.